I'm beginning to wonder if this is all a dream. The crowds of people, the concrete and glass, it all seems to be so joyless and sterile. The business and hustle of everyday life only grows more foreign to me each day. I can't escape this feeling of not belonging, so I'm constantly running. I've sought out solitude for as long as I can remember. I can function socially, but I prefer to limit my interactions so they're meaningful. I grow anxious in small talk and meaningless exchanges. I've been a dreamer since I was young, but being caught up in my own head isn't always healthy. I dream of faraway places, of memories that aren't mine, of capturing feelings that are only meant to be suggestions and I live with thoughts dancing in the wind. I capture the world to force it into making sense, to reduce it to something simpler. And when I can't make sense of my life, when it all seems so out of reach, I feel stranded on a pair of feet cemented to the earth. But I can't allow my sense of misplacement to dominate my vision. I have to remind myself to plant my feet firmly on the ground to keep my eyes on the stars. There are times when I have to put my search for solitude on hold. When I find myself in the midst of crowds and cities, I choose to be in awe of what we've built together. Where are you going to put it? For what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Brent! Brent, I'm sorry! I didn't know! You videoing? I mean, if that is the case that we do have free time, uh, we can go back to your place, get your suit, and then I can go get my camera, we can just film around. Yep, that's oh, what we're doing. Can see Jaren's boom. Ooh! I don't know what that is. bluish. There are times at which I want to socialize. And these are the only people tethering me to reality, my friends. <laughs> and they're solely responsible for me not being a recluse. And yeah, I can clean up. As a matter of fact, they all can. Trevor, you might have to help me on this. Because it's hard for me to do it backwards, because this is right, isn't it? Back over. Or unless I'm doing it the wrong way. Because this is on the bow side, so this needs to come through from this side. How did you get yours in the front? Hey, Turk. Is this a quality knot? No, it's not. But it's still dreamlike when I'm in it. All these noises, stimuli, and sensations, they should make me more aware and excite me. But this metal jungle leaves me feeling trapped, busy, and anxious. When I'm in the midst of all this, I become an artist of escape. I long for the quiet and the green. As far as I know, it's not a choice. I'm in a headlong plunge towards solitude, and it's not worth fighting. But it's not that life becomes any easier here. In fact, it's the opposite. I believe happiness is contingent upon experiencing life's entire gamut, the whole range and scope of human emotions. This includes the lush relaxation of a meadow beside a stream, 
the trickling of a brook, the soft wimpling of water falling over stones. But this also requires that I enjoy the pain of a hard fall, the hunger that comes with the seasons and lack of abundance, the absence of worldly pleasures. The natural world offers the entirety of challenges and pleasures we need to live fully. We have to experience the entire amplitude of emotion and physicality in order to rest satisfied. And quite honestly, I believe that modern life is far too easy. But we've become beasts of comfort, living lives that are so simple and unvaried that we mask the pain with challenges we invent for ourselves. We fear exertion and pain unless it's controlled and scheduled. Modernity is a sedative for the aches we need to feel in life. And while I still enjoy the companionship, I've promised myself to live a majority of my short and troubled life running toward new challenges and not away. For whatever reason, a life of comfort has never had much appeal. Maybe I'm easily angered. Maybe I'm restless. Maybe I'm a loner. But out here, the pain matches the reward, as nature intended for me. People grow crooked and weary in the excessive ease of modern life, and I've resolved to starve myself of that. But I can't withdraw completely. Those that I've befriended in life draw me back time and time again. I found a delicate balance of absence and involvement that both pushes my limits and rewards me for my time on Earth. After all, happiness wouldn't be contagious if no one were there to contract it. But no matter where I am or who I'm with, I'll never shake this feeling that this life is but a distant dream.